After last week's elections, we had a few changes in local government. One of these is a new mayor of Berea, Kentucky for the first time in over 15 years. Current Councilman Bruce Fraley came in and told me about his plans as he is now mayor-elect. When you donate to the Habitat Restore, you do more than just clear out stuff from your home or office. By donating it to the Restore, you can help build a new home for someone in need. The donation is tax deductible and they will even come pick it up from you. Check out the Restore for yourself. Located behind the Richmond Mall or on Facebook. One area that I really want to focus on is on our economic development. We had talked about that before and that's having a balance of uh, re trying to recruit large business, large industry to Berea, uh, making sure that we're doing all that we can to support our existing industry, but also focusing on commercial development. That's something we've been a little bit lacking in. I would love to see us be able to attract retail uh, retailers uh, to Berea, um, restaurants to Berea, uh, commercial type businesses. Also support for small business. We got to make sure the small business people and the entrepreneurs are the backbone of any local economy. Uh, a couple of ways that we'll do that is to make sure that we're as business friendly as possible. Uh, we want to do everything that we can to help people succeed in business, whether you're a large employer or a startup entrepreneur. Um, in addition to that, I plan to be personally involved in our economic development efforts. Um, in addition to that, one thing that I've seen even at the local level, there seems to be such a political divide at the national level. And I think with social media that that has trickled down to the local level, to county governments and city governments, one thing that I really want to do is to bring people together. Uh, that's one of my top priorities because uh, we're, we are stronger together and we can do more if we work together than we can do if we're factionalized or working out individually. So I think anytime we can bring people together uh, on things that we do agree on, we get to know one another better, we get to cooperate better, we make friends, and we're able to resolve our differences in a positive and constructive way. So I hope to be a leader of the city that will be able to accomplish that kind of a, that kind of a task. And on the hazard, hazard duty retirement, it's not hazard duty pay. People need to understand that. It's a retirement system um, that's, that's a hazard duty. Um, it actually costs the, the police or firefighter or EMS in the county's case uh, an additional 3% of their pay to pay in. So that's something that we really need to analyze. Um, uh, what I hope to do is to utilize the Aut City Council's Audit and Finance Committee, which is another priority, to make sure that the mayor and the council are working in concert to try to resolve the issues. That's something that you have to put out uh, where everybody can see what it's going to cost, what it would potentially cost, and what the pros and cons are to changing or whether you want to even consider changing it, especially going into the next budget cycle, the new fiscal year. So I think what we have to do is that is a budgetary issue. Uh, it is an issue for our council. It's something that we need to look at. It's something that people are interested in. Madison County is a high intensity drug traffic area. That's federally designated. Uh, HIDA is the acronym for that. Uh, we've had activity in Inbury already where actual federal funds have been used to try to help combat the drug problem. What we want to be sure is that we're a part of the uh, equation. I hope to work with Chief Gregory and um, Sheriff Mike Coyle and uh, also with Mayor Blythe. There, there have been some success stories out of that neighborhood watch. It's the Prospect Street Corridor. We've also uh, renewed um, interest in uh, the neighborhood watches in other areas to try to combat crime at the local level and to engage the citizens on helping the police department to combat crime. The other thing that I would mention at this point is I want to make sure that the mayor's office, uh, the city administrator, our department heads and our city council are all working together uh, to try to solve the issues that are important to our citizens. That's what we're elected to do and we need to work together as a team and cooperate to the highest degree possible. So I hope to, I hope to have a, a, an open and honest communication and to set the tone for people to be able to say what's on their mind and be able to have a civil, uh, civil discourse. Also I want to thank the citizens of Berea, Kentucky for putting their trust in me. Uh, 2,400 plus people voted for me and I won't let you down. And I intend to represent everybody, whether people voted for me or whether they didn't. My job is to provide equal representation for all the citizens of Berea, Kentucky, and I will do that.